see it is super super busy So we've just turned up to MAS and yeah, I'm excited to go see what we have in store. Super, super busy here today. <laughs> so Dan actually likes taxidermy, but this one is just... It's a bit ridiculous. It's like oh. cartoon almost. <laughs> Goodness. There's loads of tables outside. It's so busy today, isn't it? Mm. I'm not sure any of these are the right chandeliers for me. They're mostly wooden, aren't they? They're quite dated. Yeah. How cool is this? It's very fitting for this time of year. What are they, Jack? Owl. owl, yeah. Owl, you know owl. How cool is that? A Savoy cabbage serving bowl. <laughs> it's very unique. Pretty much any glass that you could ask for. That's so cute. What would that be? Is that for jam? No, it's the um, grinder. It's either a coffee grinder or... Oh, let's turn that. That's and pretty that cool. Like to grind it. Do not think this is the right area to have you walking around in. <laughs> you gonna go to Dad, Thomas? Now they're sweet. Dan, what do you think of these? Not for the kitchen, but I just think they're really cool. They're, they're almost identical. Well, the, no, they are identical. Hmm. I think they're really cool. I don't think for the kitchen, but I think, actually, I think they're really lovely. Not sure either. <laughs> That's a million dollar question, isn't it? I'm not sure. Oh, hang on. There's a really nice one over here too. I think that is actually more matching to one that we've already got. Yeah. How much is that? 25. Is that it? 25 euros. <laughs> is it really heavy? That's really pretty as well. I love crystals. That's similar to the other one. Oh. The style, little in the in the hallway upstairs that's only seven euros it's because they're they're just repos aren't they they're not like a genuine oh no that yeah they're just a... what are you trinketing with over there be careful with them right can you put that back on really really gentle really gentle clever boy I just definitely thought this was worth a, a look at. <laughs> How sweet. Down here. 
What is it? What have you seen? Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? I quite like that. Okay. Do you know what? I really I know, like... I know the shade's really dated, but the actual middle bit's really Oh, nice, the middle it? bit's lovely. And what do you call the um, the top bit? You know, like when they have them on ceilings? Uh, the rose. The rose, that's it. I forgot the... That's really nice. See, I'm really liking this little one. Or this one the top of our hallway um, which I can show you upstairs oh so many decisions <laughs> are you still talking to them doggies so kind of like there I was envisioning Yay. <laughs> Bumped no, into no. Grandma and Granddad? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. You just got it. No, no, no. I think that's got to be the most posh carafe ever. For 12 euros. What have you found there, Jack? You've got enough toys, my boy. Yeah. You've got to see what Santa does. Christmas is soon, isn't it? So, sadly, we haven't picked up anything today in Emma's. Um, we did have a look at some of the chandeliers that we liked, um, but we just didn't. We've got nowhere to put them at the moment, um, and they're not appropriate for the, the kitchen to be yet. So, um, yeah, we decided not to get them. This is definitely the shop, though. If you want something, you have to get it there and then. So, I hope we don't regret our choice. <laughs> Today's job is insulating the roof space, which is a bit of a pain. <laughs> oh, yes. So, we're going to use this... Um, glass wall roll mm -hmm. which is quite thick it's 20 centimeters thick which is about what we need really we use this french system that they use here um which is like a peg and rail so these get screwed to the rafters we put the insulation on that and then clip a rail on after mm. and then that we can screw plasterboard on that so I'm going to start putting these pegs in and it's good as well because the old roof is not level <laughs> it's really sort of wavy so this just evens it out so it's a nice flat Very surface to do. no not really we'll see when i put them up anyway so this is kind of how we're doing it so these pegs which are here um get screwed on the side of these so actually, this is the insulation that we put in mm -hmm. when we first came. So it's like the um, sort of foam board insulation we just put in between there, thinking that would be enough. But it was never <laughs> near enough insulation, was it? No. Um, so we're going to keep that in because it's already there and it was quite expensive. And it was a real, real job and a half to do. <laughs> yeah. So these get screwed to the side. And then... The insulation gets pushed onto these pegs and held in place. And then this metal rail just gets clipped onto them. And then we can screw plasterboard straight onto that. And what that gives us is a nice flat surface, basically, to put the plasterboard on. So it's all the same level. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, it does mean that the plasterboard's going to end up going over this beam. Yeah. Just because of the thickness of insulation. But that's what I mean. Sometimes it's you need. It the is insulation. a way off, and what we've done in the other part of the house is 
we put less insulation so these beams could be exposed. And yeah. it's just not enough, is it? That's the point. So I think it's worth losing that beam for the sake of gaining the proper amount of insulation. Well, we I think so. But it's not like we're not going to have any beams on show, is it? With Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so that's what's happening. So I'm just levelling all these pegs out now. Um, and then I'll roll the insulation out, push that on and... Cool. Hopefully it works like that. Plasterboarding that is going to be a barrel of laughs, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I've got the plasterboard lifter, which is pretty much the first thing we bought. Yeah. Um, but it won't really do this angle. No, as we it's, know. It's quite so steep. further up, it'll be fine. But this bit, it'll just have to be as both manhandling it on and screwing it on, which. It's a bit of a laugh, but... I know. We've done it before, though. I hold it on my back as best I can, and... Yeah. Well... I'm going to say, and I haven't said this to you yet... Oh, God. That... <laughs> what? And it's on camera now, so it oh, has to Oh, right, OK. I want to cook Christmas dinner in here. <gasps> can you shake on it? No. <laughs> Shake on it. No. Do it. <laughs> yes, that would be literally amazing. So I don't think it won't be finished as in completely finished. No. I'm gonna try aim for it to be at least we can cook a meal in here. You know, even if the floor's not tiled or whatever. Oh, that's so exciting. So let's see how that happens. We're gonna have to get some help. Laying this concrete floor because I'm not going to be able to do it on my own. No. That's the next big job, really. So, Ooh. Yeah, we'll see how that works. <laughs> Game on. The other side, this is the chimney, which is very nearly all pointed now. I just left that top bit because obviously we had the leak there, so I wanted to make sure it all dried out, you know, before I pointed it. Yeah. It literally looks amazing. Looking good, isn't it? It literally looks so good. Right, so if you pass uh -huh. that up to me, and then I'll roll it out. Hopefully it'll fit between these rafters. I don't know, we'll have to see. I don't know, I think this one's skinnier than that one, perhaps. Right, well, let's have a go and then see. Okay. I think if I roll this out and then Oh, fun shot. <laughs> So that's one section done. Doesn't look very pretty at the moment, but it's all insulated. So I'm just starting on all the other sections. That's four sections. Um, and yeah, so that should make a big difference. So after all that's on, we can get some plasterboard on then. Litter picking. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna pick up lots of rubbish. Yeah. And we're gonna pop it in a bag. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'll be back. Yeah.
No, clever boy, Thomas. Uh, no. Right, where's she gone? Annalise? Dolly? Huh? It's a lovely day, isn't it? <laughs> you picked a good time to do that, didn't you? Well, you know, jobs have got to get done. Yeah, it's proper gross today. Oh, bye think? bye, swimming pool. <laughs> yeah, do you know what makes such a difference that being down? It's such a big space. I can't believe it. It's because it was a huge pool, but. Yeah, it looks massively different now, this space. So what are we going to do here, do you think? This is like our entertaining space, isn't it? Like, this is where we hang out, like... Yeah, well, we always come behind here because... The view. Well, for one, there's a nice view. And it's all south-facing, and then the kids' play areas here. So... Yeah, I mean, I kind of envisioned this as like outdoor kitchen sort of territory. Oh, yeah. Because I know we've never like fully discussed what we think it's going to be or anything, have we? We just kind of... No. But now sort of seeing this space. Yeah. You know, there's quite a bit of space now. So, yeah. I think sort of outdoor kitchen, like a bit of decking or something, something like that. Yeah, that sounds literally that sounds amazing. <coughs> Where's my hot tub gonna go? <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> and what about our first home? Our what? Our first home. Oh, what the caravan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we lived in when we first came. Yeah. <laughs> it was so that was cold. terrible, <laughs> especially when your dad came over for a holiday and it was me, you, <laughs> and your dad. And it's only a two-person caravan. <laughs> that was nice and cosy. That's a moment I never want to relive. <laughs> Literally, it was like you and my dad on the bed either side, and I was in the middle on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. no. No offense, Taff, but never again. <laughs> so. Yeah, so what were we doing with this? Did we decide? Well, we can either gift it to somebody, which I think would be quite nice, although it's, you know, damaged. We've got more tape that it can go with it. Yeah, well, it's got a puncher, but we repaired it, didn't we? So. Yeah, with that, with that tape stuff, so... Yeah, I mean... Well, let's just get out of the or, weather for now. Or what do you think about actually storing it and keeping it? You know, like, for, I mean, like, in the future. Yeah. I mean, we can try. I, I just think, remember the last one that we stored? And we were like, oh, oh yeah, we've yeah. got a swimming pool. Like, can't oh, wait to get out. Amazing. And we so got good. out in summer, <laughs> and it was full of mouse holes because it had been stored in the yeah, bottom. Yeah, all along the bottom as well, wasn't yeah. it? So, so, I mean, we can try, but I don't know. Well, let's get in for now, what anyway. What do you think is a better? Maybe, like, gift it or... Let's get in for now, and then we can decide, can't we? Yeah, no, that's a good idea, to be fair, because it needs to dry out before it's stored anyway, because otherwise it'll go yuck. Yeah. Even more yuck. Anyway, it's raining quite hard now. Oh! <laughs> right. I need a coffee. Crack on. Cool. Well, that's that bit done now as well. Excellent. Uh, just got to clip the rails on. Oh, it should make a big difference, really. Oh, I really hope so. What do you think, Thomas? Yeah, yeah. I think he agrees. Yeah. Ooh, what you doing? this ready for the other side. Awesome, awesome. So how do you make sure it's all level? Well, you put one peg one side, mm. the you know, 20 centimetres out, one peg the other, clip the rail in and then just do the ones in the middle. <coughs> yeah. 
you're like, oh, you didn't understand the word of what I said, did you? <laughs> no, <laughs> um, tell you what you could do uh -huh. while I'm doing this. We need to get these beams. I've treated them mm -hmm. with the woodworm and pesticide stuff, but they need the oiling. Oiling. Where's the, where's the stuff on my shoulder? Is this, is this it? Yeah. Oh, cool. So that's what I've used the treatment. So this is, it's a hard wax oil, Osmo oil. Really, 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 really good. Um, but it says clear. <laughs> so I was like, all right, so, you know, the color of the beams, you know, will stay as they are, that's what you get because it's clear. Yeah. But actually I did a test patch on the mantle. Yeah, it's... And there, it actually considerably darkens them. So why do you think it's gone like that? Why, why Well, it's it... just because that's, obviously it's old oak, so it is a dark colour anyway. Yeah. And that's what colour it should be. So you put in the moisture, the oil back into the wood yeah, and it's bringing like out the normal colour. So actually the light colour is because it's dry it's you know so when you rehydrate it it goes a dark so it does you can see though it has got like from this to that there's like a sheen you know it does look yeah so the idea is with the oil yeah that it'll protect it and it'll mean that we can physically wipe the beams down yeah well we're, we're gonna have to aren't we Cause yeah like so we can hoover the... them and wipe them down and whatever um so that's why I'm kind of thinking now will be a good time because there's a lot of dust still around. So yeah. if we get them coated now, then we can just brush all the dust off. Whereas if it all starts settling back into the wood, it's going to be a right pain, isn't it? Yeah, gotcha. So... And you're a right messy cook as well. <laughs> well, I'd be surprised if it gets splatters up there. Well, I wouldn't. <laughs> so, yeah, so just brush it on. It'll need two coats. So if we do one coat now... Yeah. Um, and it's not like toxic or anything. I think it even says on it like completely child and food safe and whatever. And So I could go. <laughs> yeah, maybe not that. <laughs> yeah, safe for humans, animals and plants. Yeah, there's no point doing the top, I don't think. No. We're not, we're not going to see the tops of the beams, are they? Are we? No, but my chandelier's going to look at it, though. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this footstool on. I'm even still too short. <laughs> Vertically challenged. Yeah, so actually that first coat will pretty much just get sucked in really. Mm. So it'll be the second coat that gives it the sheen. And I think probably I'll leave sort of some of these hooks and nails in the beams. Oh uh, yeah, I like not all of them. We'll take, this you know, one. we'll take some some out, but like, you know, it's just a little bit of and character, them, isn't it? You know, them really big ones there. I love them as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shame they'll change colour really. I quite like that light warm, but mm. it is what it is, isn't it? Oh, you're not very fast, are you? Oh, shut up, you. <laughs> look, come look at this though. I'm gonna, the most satisfying thing of all. It's really, really. Oh, the one. really rotten one. Yeah, may as well keep that, haven't we? Oh, well, it's been so. treated now anyway, so it's just... I'll tell you what, though. This oil is not going far on that. <laughs> no, it's just sucking it up, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they look particularly dark now when you've just done them, but they do... They go a lot lighter than that. Yeah. Good.
Okay. Put all the pegs on. Right. I'm ready for a hand okay. to get this bit of insulation up if you can. Okay. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll sort of come up here and then just hold it up with a stick or something just so it don't flop down. <laughs> Yeah, when do you want me? Now. And then as I'm pushing it up, you sort of hold the next bit up, if you see what I mean. Oh, that was hard work. That yeah, happened. that is hard work. See, if someone had have had any sort of forward planning, they'd have left the floor <laughs> in place until all that was done. I know, but that's not how we out. work. <laughs> so it just made my how we gonna really? Yeah, how are we gonna do it with the plasterboard? Well, here we can use my machine, mm -hmm. and up there, I don't know, we'll work out. Because obviously I'm not the greatest fan of ladders as it is. But ladders mixed with... Yeah, we can put boards down. This was why I was not physically up there helping you. <laughs> yeah. No, boards down I'm good with. So, let's get the rest of this junk laid out today. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh yeah <laughs> and then we sort of but it's raining in. so hard today though well no it needs to be done though look at all it's just built up and built up again isn't it yeah <coughs> where's the magic wand <laughs> bibbidi bobbidi boop yeah so we'll get that done um to just show you that thing, I never showed you the thing, the idea for the island that I had. Mm, no, not your latest I've one. I've got it like stuck in my head now. Like I just saw something on Pinterest, uh -huh. like a little thing. Um, yeah, I'll show you. Uh, see that? Yeah. Yeah, that's really, really nice. It just really sort of, you know, when you see something, you think, yes. And sort of that kind of worktop. Yeah, that's really nice. What is that oak, would you say? And then the little brick arch. That's really cool. That would mimic Some thinking the... for an island. Yeah. Yeah, so I was thinking like that style. Yeah. Build it out with the same bricks that are there. Uh-huh. Do you know where we're going to be able to... Well, we've got a few. I don't know if we've got enough to do that. But have it, you know, like a long skinny island in the middle of the room. Yeah. So it'd be more permanent. But it'd just kind of like... I keep seeing it and I think, oh, that looks so cool. With like some brick arches with an island top, you know, a chunky island top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing I'm concerned about with that is storage and cupboards. That's... Mm. Like, if we're going to have enough space. Like, cupboardy space. That'll be hollow. The whole island will be hollow. Oh, 
I in. see. Right, okay. Sorry, I thought it was you can have all brick. Inside. Clever. That's clever. So, yeah. But anyway, let's get this moved. Mm. 